Tim Adams, Vice President and Senior Product Operations Officer for Geek Corpse Production. I hope you've enjoyed some of our other videos. Uh, today, I'm very excited to share with you, and you're going to know when it comes to the D&D Attack Wing, I'm going to be very excited about a lot of stuff. Uh, this expansion pack is going to be the Hobgoblin Troop expansion set. Uh, I've already started pre-opening uh, it ahead of time, so just to make it quicker, I don't have to worry about all the cutting and fussing and mussing with all the details. I'll just be able to open it up and pull out all the components. So here we go. Join me, will you? Well, thank you for joining us again for another video regarding the Dungeons & Dragons Attack Wing by WizKids, makers of Heroclix and Attack Wing, Star Trek and D&D both. Today we're going to open and review the contents of the Hobgoblin Troop Expansion Pack. First thing you're going to notice is the standard packaging for all the expansion packs, just like the Star Trek Attack Wing game. In this instance, though, you're going to get six figures of the same ones. Uh, it's going to be the standard sleeving that they have over it with the icon for the D&D Attack Wing. The explanation on the back, the artwork is a lot nicer than the basic, basic one that they use for the Star Trek one. I've already cut off the edge to save time and not worry about minutia while we're here doing the video. So we'll go ahead and open it up and we'll remove the contents. In this case, it's going to be the packaging in the cellophane wrap with the little glue strip for easy storage and restorage. Like I said, I've already moved, opened this up. Um, I'm very anal about protecting my stuff. I didn't get a chance to do it for the video on the starter set because I had some issues with the equipment and doing the videos. But in this one, I was able to get it done and prepared ahead of time. I have my cards and sleeves, but I haven't gone through all the die cut tokens. I'm saving that for us. Put that off to the side. The inside sleeve, the first sleeve that you're going to get to is the expansion pack contents. It's going to get to everything here that you see uh, from one adventure booklet all the way down to the campaign artifact upgrade card. So it has all the different uh, upgrade cards that can be used. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the next part out of the pack is the figures themselves. You get your really cool artwork uh, sleeve or uh, lining here. Plastic container which can be thrown away. With the this one retailing for $24.95, it's actually a really good deal. It's a great price point. You Not only do you get six figures and bases for all of them, but you get all those die cut tokens and the cards. If you're familiar with the same company who's partnered with Wizard of the Coast as well, using the Icons of the Realms, the same miniatures, you only get four miniatures inside the box. Granted, some are large, some are huge, one rare, but you only get four and it sells for $15.99. This is great. Uh, this is $24.99. The next one down, the two faction pack, like the rates, you get two rates with all the die cut tokens and bases for $19.99. And you get like the ballista and the one we're going to look at in the next video, the Sun Elf Wizard, which retails for $14.99. Same as the single ships for the Star Trek Attack Wing. So you're going to get bases for all of these. Uh, these are very cool. They're the same bases if you're familiar with X-Wing by Fantasy Flight or... Of course, my favorite, uh, still, Star Trek Attack Wing. Comes with the little black pegs to put your movement dials down. And I'll show you how these plastic bases work, too. Because if you're familiar with ships and the flying, they use a little peg and they stand on and then the ships move across in the flight path. This way, these are ground troops, so you're going to take out their little cardboard base, place it on here, and I'll show you how that's done. So, let's place this off, go back to that in a second and then take out the die cut tokens. And we'll take out the cards. In the Star Trek Attack Wing game, they give you additional cards for missions. In this set, they're gonna give you an adventure book. It's a tri-fold, two-sided instruction adventures for like missions and whatnot, cooperative and of course, objective type, one-on-one, -on -one, head to head. In this case, it's Adventure 3.6, an uphill battle. I like this better than the cards, to be honest with you. I don't have to worry about putting that in a sleeve, even though I probably will end up by doing it anyway. Here, you're going to get uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards. Each of these will represent your troop. 
Um, if it's a single one, then it's only two attack, two agility, and one of each for defense or armor. Uh, this one is cost 19. It has the additional effect of during the melee attack, you may reroll one of your blank attacks. It has everything down here on what they get. You get your two movement templates. They're exactly the same. Uh, this one here is the upgrades. This is the prayer, scatter, power attack, judgment mantle, uh, sophisticated attacks, a mob, wedge formation, and square formation. And this will get you to the different things as you read the rules. On the die cut tokens, here are the bases. This one are gonna they're gonna work. If you're familiar with the Star Trek attack, I'm gonna reference it a lot because that's what WizKids started off with. They took the same core basic mechanic from Fantasy Flight Games X-Wing, applied it with a few tweaks of their own to the Star Trek, and now carrying it over to the DD Attack Wing. Uh, one of the prize ships, which is now going to be an expansion faction, was the Hideki class or the Federation fighters from that expansion. Uh, there was three ships on there, but there were actually like four. These, I'm going to pop them out, will work, I'm sure, in formation as this, that the more there are, the stronger the attack. And they're gonna be over here. And depending on how it works, it's going to be set up as such. Giving it, each time it takes a hit, it loses one. One, two, three, four, five, six. After the sixth one, it's gone. These will stand up like this. These are the bases I was telling you about. Pop that one out, and as you see, it's going to go right on the base here. And then you're going to pull out your little troop guy. Very clever. It slides right in the base here. And he's going to fit right on here. Just like that. So he moves across the base. So you can see how that works. All right. Very cool. It has all the different stats and his fighting arc. That he's going to go into. Uh, the rest of the die cut tokens are additional movement token, all their different uh, evasion tokens, critical hits, more bases for your entire troop. Uh, I assure this is probably shields and damages of some sort. I'm not familiar with all the rules yet, but I'm sure when we read them, everything will become more clear. Exhaustion token, oops, upside down. Exhaustion token, turn token, another dial, movement. Um, this wagon icon, I'm sure, is used for uh, the adventure. And of course, oops, uh, your disabled markers for the cards that you spend and when they're disabled. It works the same. This is very, very cool. I love how this is set up. I look forward to getting more expansions, and I'm sure you're as excited as well. If you haven't already obtained yours, I suggest you go out right now, go to your local retailer, uh, go to your favorite local game store and what they call the FLGS for those that are not aware of it. I was unaware of it for the longest time. FLGS, when they refer to it, is Friendly Local Game Store. Pick up your starter set, pick up your expansions, get involved in organized play, see how well this is going to work. Once I read all the rules and details, I'm sure I'll be even more excited to be able to share with you the things that we have and of course, being part of a company such as Geek Corps that's up and coming uh, with other games, uh, you'll see different blogs, different vlogs uh, for our site. So go check it out, Geek GC, uh, sorry, GeekCP.net. That's our blog. That's where you'll see this video as well. Uh, follow us on YouTube, make comments, send us emails, do what you need to do. Any constructive criticism is always welcome. Just be nice. Um, I have some thick skin, but yet I'm still human. I still can get hurt. No, it's okay. Go ahead and leave your comments. Be honest. It will take into consideration if you're mean, we'll just ignore you. All right. Thank you once again, and look forward to more videos. Don't forget to subscribe.